Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, convert a uh, Java Edition Minecraft world into a Bedrock Edition Minecraft world. Now there are a couple reasons you may want to do this. One is you might already have a Java Edition world and you want to either share it in Bedrock or just play it in Bedrock. The other reason is you may want to use certain tools that are only available in Java, like World Painter, where you can create your own terrain and uh, create a map using Java and then play it in Bedrock or share it in Bedrock or you can share it in both versions if you want. Uh, anyway, let's get started with this. I built this simple structure right here just so we know this is the world. Now it will save any structures you build. And If we go around here you can see we have uh, a desert biome, badlands biome, and over here we have a jungle biome. Uh, so this is uh, basically what the world looks like here. So we're going to escape back and save and quit to the title real quick. We're going to get single player mode. We're going to select this world, my Java world. This is the world we were just in. We're going to go down here to edit and go to make backup. You can see uh, the world's uh, 50 megabytes right now. It, it only includes in the backup... Um, the world you've explored and the things that you've built in the world. Uh, so the more of the world you explore, the larger the world will get. There is a limit uh, uh, to how big of a world you can currently convert. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. Uh, if you explore too much of it, you, it may be too big for you to convert the whole thing, but you can convert a section of it in that case. <laughs> Uh, so let's go back here and select my Java world again and go back to edit and we're going to go right here to open backups folder and this is the folder where it saves the backups uh, now you can go right to this folder if you want to when we do the conversion or to pull the file to do the conversion but the easier way to do it is to s so select this file that we want to uh, convert and copy it and I've already made a folder um, called uh, Minecraft Worlds. It's just under my C drive. You can create a folder named anything and just paste that file in there. And that way you can find it easily. You can basically paste the file or move the file, a copy of the file, to anywhere that you can find easily. Now the, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to go to... Um, a uh, website here and it's called chunker.app and this is the official um, conversion tool for Minecraft and uh, you, you want to use this tool probably in lieu of some of the older tools just because uh, this tool is supported by by Minecraft and as there are new versions of Minecraft they should update this to support uh, new blocks and features and such. Uh, so once we get here, there are two ways to upload a world that you want to convert. The first is to choose the world folder, which is going into the, the Java directory where the world folder is saved. And the other one is to upload an archive, uh, which is a zip file or a dot, uh, MC world file and uh, we just created an archive a zip file when we backed it up so let's click on this to upload our archive we want to navigate to the folder where we have saved our uh, backup and select it and click open uh, so it's so it says it's ready to do the upload now so all we have to do is start the upload and it will take a minute to do this. All right, once it has uh, uploaded and opened the file, we come to the screen right here. Now, it will take longer depending on how big the world is that you're converting. So, so if it's a small world, it will just take a minute or two. If it's a huge world, it might take a little bit longer. And uh, so, we're given a choice of here of what we can export it to which is nice so we can export it to 
the latest version of Bedrock, or we can export it to a previous version, uh, or we we can actually can export it to a different version of Java. So, if we if we want to uh, uh, do that, there's not really much of a purpose to do that. Uh, as far as if you want the latest version of Java, you can just open it up in the latest version of Java and it will automatically convert it. But if you want it in a previous version, you could theoretically uh, do that as well. And the reason you would want to do that is if you were going to put it up on a server uh, in, in the server was an older version for whatever reason. Uh, so uh, let's just uh, pick the most recent available version right here. And uh, at this point, once we select the version, we can go here and convert and download our uh, file if we want to. Uh, but we're going to go to advanced mode before we convert it over to show you uh, some of the features that you can do when you're converting uh, over. A lot of times you may just want to just convert and download, but let's go into the advanced features. First nice feature about this is it's going to generate a, uh, a map for us which is just a preview map. Uh, so if you uh, if you look here, you can see the structure that I built right here. We can also go back and switch uh, switch the mode. So if we decide we want it in a different version, we can go back to that as well. Uh, so that's what that is. At this point, we can convert once again as well, but let's look at some of these other features. So we can go to the world settings and rechange a lot of these uh, uh, things um, if we didn't set them in the original world or, or if we decide we want to change them from what the original world wanted. So let's generate a bonus chest right here. Uh, difficulty is normal. Let's just change it to peaceful, although we're in creative, so that doesn't make any difference. Uh, but if we switch to survival, it would put it in peaceful. Um, so we can actually change the spawn location. We're going to just use the default spawn location. Uh, we can turn on experimental play. Uh, uh, so... Uh, we have bonus chest enabled. Let's have it spawned as well because the area that we're copying would be where the bonus chest spawned. And since we didn't have that initially in there, I think we need to turn both on to get that to work. Uh, so you can go through all of these things and and uh, let's turn off do daylight cycle uh, so that it just stays on daylight. Uh, you can turn on keep inventory so you can go down all of these these are basically the things you could have set up when you originally set up it but this gives you a chance to change them uh, you have restrictions here uh, we're going to leave those all the same weather uh so we can change all of those as well. And then here are some miscellaneous things that we have here. Uh, the next thing we can do is uh, pruning. And that has to do with uh, pruning chunks outside of a region. Uh, and we can do that in the overworld, the nether, and the end. Block mapping is interesting. Um... It's something you would have to experiment with. Uh, um, I'm not sure how well it works, but basically what it is is you could take one, any block. For instance, you could take a block of sand and make it into a block of dirt. So if, so if you wanted to change all of the sand into dirt for some reason or all of a certain type of block into something for a particular reason, you could do that. Uh, but I suggest experimenting with that and being kind of careful about it because it will turn every block of sand into dirt if that's what you want to change everything into. Uh, and, 
and that might have uh, consequences to it. Like if you built houses out of stone and you turned them all into water, it would destroy all the houses basically because they would turn into water and you know, just flow away basically. And I'm going to leave these converter settings to what they are. There are some different settings on there as well. So just be aware there's a there's a uh, advanced mode. You can change the world settings in a lot of these things. And some of these things may change in the future. They may add certain things to this in the future as well uh, as they update this. Uh, so now we've, that we've gone through the advanced um, settings, let's click on convert. Now it puts you in a queue because it's doing this on a server and it looks like it's converting it pretty fast for us but it might take longer if you have to wait. And it will take a few minutes for it to do the conversion once it starts. I've downloaded the file and I've gone into the uh, Windows version or the Bedrock version of Minecraft and so I'm going to click on play. And up here it says create new but next to it has this little arrow here and that's to upload a world so I'm going to click on that and I already have it I copied it to the same folder that I used to make the backup except this has a MC world ending on it so this is this is what I downloaded so I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on import and it imported the world all res ready and you can see my uh, Java world right here and if I click on that and load it all right so here's our Minecraft uh, world right here uh, here's the structure that I built and if I go up into the air you can see over here we have the jungle biome the badlands the desert and everything so this is the world that I created in Java and I now have it in uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So that's how you convert from the uh, Java Edition to the Bedrock Edition in Minecraft. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft, enjoy the day and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.